The federal government has announced three new measures to help renters. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau made the announcement here at Sunset Community Center in South Vancouver Wednesday morning. The first measure is the creation of a new Canadian Renters Bill of Rights. The government says this will be created and implemented in partnership with provinces and territories and will tackle rent evictions. It will also create a new national standard for lease agreements and it will require landlords to disclose the pricing history of a rental. In today's Canada, more people are renting than ever before. And that number is growing at double the rate of those able to buy a new home compared to a decade ago. The second measure is a new $15 million tenant protection fund, which will go to legal aid organizations. The third measure will see the Canadian Mortgage Charter amended so that on-time rent payments go towards a renter's credit score history, which will help when applying for a mortgage. If you look at someone who pays a $2,000 mortgage, they're getting recognition and credit for that from the bank as part of their credit score. But if you're paying $2,000 a month on rent, that gives you no kudos. Vancouver is the most expensive Canadian city to rent in. Although details are sparse, Landlord BC tells City News it's largely supportive of the measures. Advocates for renters also say more information is needed, but the measures seem positive. What do they consider rights? Um, from a tenants union perspective, something that we would consider essential would be the right to collectively bargain. It'd be good to see government make sure they're getting a good look at what's actually happening in the rental landscape. What are the greatest threats to renters sort of security and tenure and making sure that if a baseline is set is covering all of those aspects in some way. But the federal opposition says in a statement in part today's photo op is just another set of meaningless measures that won't result in building the homes Canadians need. It's not clear when the new measures will be implemented but they're in budget 2024 which will be tabled April 16th. This won't solve the housing crisis on itself. Uh, this is one component of many things that we need to do and so uh, what I want to see from the federal government is with their budget uh, a significant announcement of funding. The federal housing minister has previously suggested the budget will see billions of dollars for the construction of new homes and low-cost housing programs. I don't think there's a single provincial government across the country that is saying, oh no, we need to do less on housing. No, we all need to do more. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.